I always say that if these items can only talk because there's so much we don't understand. This is far from your typical basement. It's hundreds of haunted items from years of paranormal investigations by this man. My name is John Zappos. For over 40 years, people have come to me with their problems, paranormal problems. Zaffis, a Stratford native, has parlayed his paying for the paranormal into a popular sci-fi show. My job, you hear that? There's definitely something on the air. Find the haunted idol and remove it. He calls himself a haunted collector. I work from a spiritual perspective and a scientific perspective. He believes each item can hold energy and has a story. He said, whatever I conjured up, whatever I brought in, he says, it's inside that statue now, and now it is telling me to kill myself. And his hobby runs in the family. Zaffis is the nephew of world-renowned paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. We'd be sitting around on Easter, Christmas, no matter what, and they'd be telling ghost stories. We wanted Zaffis to take us along for one of his own investigations at Stratford's historic Booth Memorial Park. A lot of different uh, paranormal experiences up here. We're told the 32-acre estate was purchased by the Booth family in the 1700s. This is one of my favorite places to come to. He focused on this Civil War jacket, an item Zaffis says caused unexplained experiences on the property. People were coming back saying they seen a gentleman walking around with this uniform on. Only our investigation into that jacket brought about much more than we bargained for. Can you tell me how many are in here with us? Six. And then came a series of names. Can you tell me your name again? Followed by another. Steve. With a familiar last name. Steve, can you tell me what your last name is? I don't need that any clearer. A chilling moment standing in the Booth Museum. Steve, can you tell us how you died? Steve Stroke. And it all came full circle when the caretaker of the estate confirmed this. Steve died of a stroke in uh, November of 1948. We also learned Steve was one of the Booth brothers who established the park. But we didn't end up getting much on the jacket. We did get a glimpse of Zaffis's paranormal passion. I always tell people, proceed with caution. Proceed with respect when dealing with this field. You never know what's going to happen.